like myself. And so we were really reading these things for the first time. And what was unique was that the method of teaching was not an analytical method. It was a poetic method. Mm -hmm. They appealed more to the imagination than to the intellect. So what they wanted us to do is fall in love with learning, fall in love with truth and goodness and beauty. And so associated with the program, we had to memorize reams and reams of poetry. And every Monday night we would get together and we would learn more poems. Then uh, we would also go out in the evening and learn the constellations of the stars and the mytholo mythology behind it. And the, the biggest event uh, of the year was the spring waltz. And we would all have to learn how to waltz. And we would put on this huge spring waltz. We'd hire out the university orchestra, the university ballroom. All the guys would dress up in tuxedos and the girls would uh, have long gowns. And we'd get a dance card with eight different women ladies that we would have to uh, dance with. And the whole idea of the waltz was to teach the men to be gentlemen and the women to be ladies and to teach the great manners of Western culture, like music, dance, romance. And uh, it had a tremendous effect. Um, we all, almost everyone discovered this world of beauty and truth and goodness, which existed in literature, poetry, music, art, architecture. A world that none of us had ever really discovered before. Um, and it took us out of ourselves. And the result was, we started asking the big questions. Does God exist? Where can I find Him? Um, is there truth? Is there life after death? Why is there so much suffering? Um, is there such a thing as love? Can it be known? You know, can I fall in love? And all these questions, which come up in these liter in these great books, I mean, they're the question, the perennial questions that people have asked from the very beginning, even before, you know, the pagans, they, they, they ask these questions. I mean, they're they're the questions, and they'll always be asked. And it was through the experience of this Pearson Integrated Humanities program at the University of Kansas, which flourished from about the year 1970 about the year 1985, it was not very long, but it affected the lives of hundreds and hundreds of students. And it was um, all through this poetic, Dr. Quinn called it education by the muses. Mm. You know, that the, that the, the muses would, would teach you the truth, you know, like the Greek, uh, the Greek muses. And that, um, and it worked. You know, we, 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 we fell in love with learning, and we fell in love with love, and, and uh, it changed our lives forever. And eventually you asked the deeper questions and the big questions that led to a personal conversion, which we will dive into at another time. But thank you for explaining what actually happened there at KU. You're welcome. I always like telling the story. Yeah. Great. Come set me free. Come set me free. Set me free, I know it will. Love will come, set me free. Yes. There ain't no reason things are this way. It's how they always been and they intend to stay. I can't explain why we live this way. We do it every day.